Hi, I'm Becca, and this is my husband, Gabe. That's me. Welcome to the podcast celebrating Jack Russell Terrier Dogs. And all the joys of companionship with canines of every kind. Each week, we'll explore all the heartfelt, humbling, and hilarious stories that only dog parents can truly relate to. We're Jack Russell Parents. Hi, puppy parents. We hope you and your pups are doing wonderful this week. Walking, playing, snuggling. We hope you have had lots of time to do whatever it is you enjoy doing together the most. So, Becca, Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about what my spirit animal would be, and I have no idea. Care to take a guess? (laughs) Well, yes, I've thought about this. I think you're very driven, you work really hard, and you also have a heart for people, but you also have like a whimsical kind of, that's a weird weird word, but like you're artsy. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, but anyway, those are kind of the things that would describe you. So are you ready for what I think your spirit animal would be? I don't know. (laughs) I'm I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I'm sure. A beaver. (laughs) (laughs) that's about right go with me here so i looked up a beaver and this particular bit that i got from the all-knowing wikipedia pushed me in this direction so i'm a rodent that likes to swim i'm sorry i called you a rodent so your spirit animal is a rodent but hear me out here the beaver has been used to represent industry tradition masculinity and respectability hey that's nice So the English verb to beaver, which I didn't know was a thing, means to work energetically or to be as busy as a beaver, right? We say that. And a beaver intellect refers to a slow but honest mentality. Way to wrap it up in a nice pretty bow. (laughs) (laughs) It's not because of my giant front teeth. You don't have giant front teeth. They're rather prominent. Stop it. They are not. Well, okay. Okay, so yeah, you can get back at me now if you want to. What is your, (laughs) what do you think my spirit animal is? Well, I think your spirit animal is an owl. Hmm. You're wise, beautiful, majestic. See, I went in a different direction. (laughs) But you're also a bit dangerous. (laughs) Your talons are super sharp and you'll whip them out if you have to. Case in point, uh, <laughs> you don't say much. You're not one of those birds that tweets and chirps all day long. But when you do speak, everything stops to listen. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm speechless. Uh, thank you. I will take the owl as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> you should. And I'll go to the lake and start building a dam. The beaver is a compliment too. Okay. Trust me. Anyway, anyway, on that note, I know that we are in agreement on what Carson's spirit animal is. Absolutely. Yes. So today we are going to share with you our top 10 reasons why every JRT spirit animal is a toddler. A human toddler. (laughs) Yeah, you heard me, a toddler. Although I suppose it could go the other way too. Every toddler spirit animal is a Jack Russell. <laughs> in, yeah. In algebraic terms, that's referred to as the transitive or substitution property. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that intellect I was referring to earlier with the beaver. See, there it is. Uh, I, I had to look that up. <laughs> Anyway, we have curated, especially for you, our top 10 ways that prove that every JRT spirit animal is a toddler. Are you ready for it? Here it comes. Just like a toddler, JRTs are perpetual peeing partners. You will never pee alone again. Correct. (laughs) JRTs follow you from room to room, including the bathroom. Carson stands right in front of me and even like a pet while I pee. And if I manage to get the bathroom door shut before he gets in there with me, he waits outside and you just hear him sniffing. It sounds something like this. (laughs) (laughs) He just breathes under the door so you know that he's there. A lot of weird information. (laughs) (laughs) Number two, JRTs and toddlers are both fastidious food testers. You will never eat alone again. Every meal, Carson sits by the table, and if he doesn't like what we're eating or we wait too long between giving him pieces, we hear about it. He needs to know that the chef is maintaining high-quality standards and is generous with their portion sizes. Opening a package or bag, he comes running. Bring home the groceries, he's there to bury his head in the bag to see what's what. 
sit down on the couch with a snack. He's right beside you, fussing until he gets a taste. He sure is. That hot breath right there up with your snack. (laughs) (laughs) You want some of your snack? Everything tastes like beef broth now. Number three. Our house looks like a toy box exploded. Toys and remnants of toys are scattered throughout the house at all times. At least once a week, I'll step on or kick something hard, perhaps Uh resulting in a choice word or two. And as soon as I pick up the toys and put them back in the box, he immediately starts pulling them out again. And he also, by the way, speaking of toys, finds hidden Christmas presents. And if he finds them in the closet or if he can smell it in the cabinet or whatever, he'll whine until you give it to him. That is correct. Very much like a toddler. Number four. Silence equals trouble. Mm-hmm. Just like the little kiddos, if a jack is quiet, they've likely gotten into something they shouldn't have or they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing. We find ourselves saying, where's the monkey? Do you have eyes on the monster? What's he doing? <laughs> if he's missing in action, he's likely gotten into the bathroom and is eating toilet paper or he's taking a piece of clothing from the closet or he jacked the TV remote and he's hiding under the bed with it. Yeah, we are always looking for him and making sure we know what he's up to. Silence is bad. Yes. The fifth reason every JRT spirit animal is a toddler is we're constantly yelling, what's that in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> we find ourselves telling our pup on a regular basis, what do you have? What's in your mouth? Don't eat that. Spit that out. I mean, he'll find something on the side of the street and just eat it. Sometimes before I even can identify that it's actually food or, or not, right? He just eats things, puts things in his mouth. And this has lessened over the years, thank goodness, but it's still a thing. It's an ever-present danger. Mm -hmm. Let's pause our super silly list for a moment and hear some awesome puppy parent replies. We asked other JRT parents, how is your JRT like a toddler? Ava W. says, her seven-year-old girl gets whiny if she doesn't get her nap. Oh, yeah. Carson (laughs) lets us have it when he's tired. He does. (laughs) Lydia G. says her JRT, like a toddler, eats, plays, gets tired, sleeps, and (laughs) repeats. Eat, play, tired, sleep, repeat. (laughs) Tanya S. says her pup cries when his poppy leaves, tortures his brothers, defiantly looks at you, and does whatever you're telling him no about. (laughs) (laughs) You tell him to to not do something, he'll stare right at your face and do it. Yes, he will. Pushing the boundaries always. Cheryl S. says, I feel having a dog is like having a forever toddler. Where are they? Where are they going? What's in their mouth? (laughs) See, we got it right in our first five. (laughs) Marie W. says, he is cute. I love that answer. It's short and sweet. Because toddlers are so cute and so are Jack Russell's. And that's how they get away with it. Yes, that's how they get away with the other parts of the list. (laughs) That's for sure. So it's time to get your toddler, I mean your JRT, a snack. And we will be right back with the second half of our list. I had an awesome puppy parent connection the other day. I was rocking my Jack Russell parents t-shirt in the grocery store and because of it, I struck up a great conversation with a lady. And not only did she think my shirt was super cute, she too had a JRT named Wags. And that's a great name. I love it when slogans like dog mom, dog dad, or Jack Russell parents bring people together. Me too. And one of my favorite prints is Jack Russell Terriers. Not a breed, a calling. Yeah, raising a JRT just might be the highest calling of all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So are you a proud puppy parent that wants to connect with other puppy parents? Or do you simply like super cute doggy attire to go with your summer shorts? Either way, we have what you need at the Jack Russell Parent Store. All our awesome prints come in a variety of t-shirts, hoodies, baby onesies, laptop sleeves, even coffee mugs. Your choice. To join the doggy squad, check out all the rad merch options at jackrussellparents.com. Simply click on shop at the top and place your order. Go get them, puppy parents! (laughs) 
We are back and ready for the next five reasons that a JRT spirit animal is a toddler. Number six, sleep disruptors. That's right. JRTs, like toddlers, need a drink of water right before bed, and then they need to go potty in the middle of the night. You often wake up with a foot or a butt in your face. Also, they happen to stare at you while you sleep, willing you with their superpowers to get up and play. Number seven, encrypted communication required. Like toddlers, our JRTs know just enough words to make speaking freely a problem. We must spell words like W-A-L-K, C-O-O-K-I-E, or we use initials like D-P for dog park. We shortened peanut butter to P-B, but now he knows what that means. Now we say P-B thinking we're talking in code, but he still licks his lips. We should <laughs> probably change to like almond paste or something. <laughs> yeah, he won't recognize almond paste. For gross. a while. <laughs> And I, of course, have trouble spelling cookie, but that's another issue altogether. <laughs> Number nine, just like a toddler with a new toy, a JRT claims ownership of all new things brought into the house uh -huh. as mine. If it's yours, it's mine. If it's broke, it's mine. If you drop it, it's mine. If you lose it, it's mine. If I find it, it's mine. If you want it, it's mine. If I don't want it, but you want it, it's still mine. <laughs> if it belongs to another dog, it's definitely mine. And on and on we go. And if you don't let them have it or try to get it back, they throw a tantrum. Big one, right in the middle of the aisle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number nine, if you've ever looked at your pup and said, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Like toddlers, some JRTs, especially when they're little bitty puppies, can be a little bitty destructive. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite stories is we had just brought him home. It was the first week that we had him. Mm -hmm. I was working from home, sitting in a chair. He started chewing on the leg while I'm sitting on it. So I shoo him away. I tell him no. He brings a bone back. He has it against the chair leg. He's mm -hmm. chewing on it. And as he's chewing it, it's tapping on the leg of the chair. So I hear that noise and I think it's just a toy. I look down and he switches back to the toy. He was chewing the leg the whole time. <laughs> he tricked me, made me think he was chewing on his toy. I he's, swear he did that on purpose. I'm sure he did. Uh, he psyched you out with pretend to be chewing a bone. Crazy. We still have that chair with the chew marks, by the way. <laughs> I think I might be sitting in it. <laughs> I think you are. And, you know, it, speaking of destruction and not having nice things, he has a tendency. I like to drink coffee on the couch. And so <laughs> yeah. he'll he'll jump like against you or, or something or bump you like right at the worst possible time. And Body that check you. Coffee goes flying. And then I've got a whole lot to clean up. So finally, the 10th way that a JRT spirit animal is a toddler is unconditional love. Oh. <laughs> Without a doubt, Jack Russells, like toddlers, love with their whole little hearts, and they need that kind of love in return, too. And thus we go round and round. Mm -hmm. That wraps up our super fun list. But before we go, I want to hear some more of those replies from puppy parents. Me too. Fabio A says, when I make chocolate milk for the kids, he comes running into the kitchen and taps my leg for his warm milk. Oh, cute. Kyra L says, escaping the baby gate. Yeah, there's not a baby gate that can hold a Jack Russell. Mm -mm. Raicha A says, we do mummy and baby tea and snack time together. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Have a little tea party. <laughs> Karima F. says she loves to be cradled, loves bedtime, loves food, constant demand for attention. That is a good one. Mm -hmm. Won't eat her food, but wants ours. Yeah. Wants, <laughs> wants to play at 11 p.m. and takes up our space in bed. Yeah, <laughs> Very that. much like a toddler. If all you said was that to somebody, they wouldn't know whether or not you were talking about a toddler or Jack Russell. Uh, that's true. That's true. They, it all 100% fits either way. And finally, Wendy D says, touching stuff she shouldn't, pushing boundaries, argumentative, and totally irresistible, adorable, lovable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again. You wouldn't know which they were talking know. about. That's great. 
We have had so much fun with this episode and hearing from you wonderful puppy parents that we have a special zoomy sode dedicated to more ways your JRT spirit animal is a toddler. Awesome. Check it out this Thursday to hear if your puppy parent reply was featured. If you would like your puppy parent reply featured in future episodes, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at JRT Podcast and join the conversation. See you on Thursday, puppy parents. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you learn from the content? Or did you just have a good, relatable laugh? Well, now what? It's time to subscribe, follow, keep listening, and give a positive review on the Apple Podcast app. Then share the podcast with other puppy parents. This will allow us to connect you and your friends with fun, dog-loving content week after week. Until next time, this is Becca and Gabe, the Jack Russell Parents. Say bye, Carson. We'd love to connect with you online at jackrussellparents.com or on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at JRT Podcasts. That's at JRT for Jack Russell Terrier Podcast. The Jack Russell Parents Podcast is produced by Earball Audio. Jack Russell Parents is brought to you in part by Super Chewer. From the makers of BarkBox, Super Chewer is a themed monthly delivery of toys and treats made especially for dogs who play harder and demand a challenge. Simply go to jackrussellparents.com and click the Super Chewer link to enjoy their great offers while also supporting our podcast. Mm-hmm.